Hey guys, Bing here. Uh, let's let's model a parametric family. So look like this one. Okay. So and also uh, I'm going to record two episodes for this one because uh, uh, it might take a bit long. Okay. So let's start. So first, create a generic model adaptive. And I'm going to place one point on work plan, work plan, and place it in the center here. Okay. So now another point, draw on work plan, set work plan, and pick the vertical work plan of this point, and then place it on this point. Okay. So and then move it this way. Place another one, and okay and drag it this way so select the first point so offset here so see a positive number and we just need to create a i'll call it half half width okay so okay and then this one this one will be negative half width i'll just call it i'll, call, I'll just half width negative Okay, so go to family types. So maybe I'll change this to HW as well. So okay, so half width. So um, we need to create a new parameter. So let's call it width. So this will be the the overall width of the family. Okay, so then I'll just type in 1200 for example, and then half width equals width divided by two. And half with negative equals negative with divided by two. So now we can. Uh, I like to place these uh, parameters in other group. So because all these parameters are controlled by the formula, so I don't want to see them in the dimension where uh, we. All the parameters we use for uh, to control the family. So now let's have a test. Apply. So see the point go close. So that should be 600 each side. And if I change to 1500, yeah. So all good. So now select this point and this point. Create a spline, and then check this reference line. So now this reference line is our um, the path so we are going to create some uh, uh, form on this path and for now I, I'm just going to select these three points and H H and just just hide them because uh, I don't want to see them <laughs> okay so let's let's place some points so one point draw on face and place it on this end okay so this will be the point we place a profile on. So we will need three profile. So one here, one here, and one in the middle. So now let's let's do the first profile. So go reference, rectangle, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan of this point, and I'll just roughly draw a shape like this. And select this uh, reference line MV move pick the middle point move this to this uh, point so now tab select one of the reference line so see this one click on here so now we have a dimension of the um, depths of this family so create a, uh, a parameter I'll call it uh, depths and okay so now if we go to family types and change the depths and you will you will see so for example 550 you will see um, instead of you know center to this reference line uh, it go that way okay so no that's not what we want so select this dimension click on edit witness lines and pick the point and click on here and click on equal so once again tab select this reference line and see this one create another one and 
Uh, actually, I'm going to change the scale a little bit. So yeah, make the make the dimension relatively smaller. Okay, so now select this one and then change it to this. So now if we change the dimension of the depth, so you will see, oops, 50 center to this reference line. Okay, so now tap select this reference line. See this one? Create a, another reference, uh, sorry, dimension. So this will be the height of this family. And, and click on this. So let's create a height parameter and OK. So let's try, let's have a test of this height parameter as well. OK, so 400 apply, it goes down. That's fine. What we can do is go AL, align, pick this reference line, and then pick this reference line, lock. So once again, let's try this height 450, apply go up good so now that's it so that's this is one of the profile and then select everything here CC copy it and then select this point pick new host pick this end and then we need the one in the middle okay so CC pick this point pick the new host and pick the middle point of this reference line and that's okay so drag this down so okay so now we need to change the uh, shape of the middle one so from this image I can tell that uh, it's roughly half of the height half the height of the, the one on the side so what I'm going to do is select this uh, dimension create a new parameter I'll call it HH half Height. Okay, and then go to family types and half height equals height divided by two. And also, I'm going to make it in uh, put it into other group. And okay, so it goes down. That's fine. What we need to do is we just add a dimension. So set work plan. I'll pick this work this work plan of this point di. And this time, pick this reference line and also this one. So now select this one and height. So you will see it goes up and the same height as these ones. So which means the top will be the uh, same height, will be flat. Okay. So now we can select these three, one, two, three create a form. Okay, so this is the roughly the shape of this family. So we can change, so for example, depth, 600, height, uh, 500, width, maybe 1200, all good. And then the next step, we're going to pick this face and also this face. So there are two faces here and divide surface and then u grid ch change it from fixed fixed number to maximum spacing okay so i'll change this distance to maybe roughly six six sixty mil and later on i'm going to use um, maybe 30 mil panel with 30 mil spacing so that's why six i use 60 and also um for V grid, which is horizontal grid, now. Okay, so and also select this device surface and turn the nodes on. So this, because later we will need this to place some uh, panels. Okay, so, um, so hang on, what's the, the nine minutes okay let's let's do a little bit more um so the next step i'm going to model some panels and we can place it in here okay so it will be a new family generic model adaptive 
and in this one I'm going to place point some points okay so one two and make adaptive um, totally we will need three points okay but I'm going to start with two so select these two uh, the adaptive points create a spline make it reference line okay then set work plan and pick this reference work plan of this reference line di dimension make sure you pick the point and make, pick this point so this I'll change the scale a little bit uh, maybe too big so let's close it okay so um, this create a parameter I'll call it with a W1 or maybe L1 length L1 and change it to a reporting parameter so we will use this uh, as a width of that panel okay then we're going to place another adaptive adaptive point so I'm going to just um, hang on. I'll also place it on this level so I'm going to change this to reference level and place it here okay and then I'll just make it adaptive uh, points so this time again create another reference line here set work plan dimension di make sure you pick the point so this one will be l2 instance reporting parameter okay so now this this point is only used to determine the the L2 the, which is the the height of the panel it's not used into the the, the panel okay so now what we can do is we can click on a play, place a point draw on face and place it here so I'll place two uh, sorry I'll just place one for now and then if I if I select this point and change this to always show the reference plan and uncheck this show normal reference plans and you will see see it looks like an adaptive point and then you will see all these one two and three work plan so we are going to place a point on this vert so on this vertical reference uh, reference line okay so draw our work plan set so pick so tab see this one and then place it on this point and okay and then select this point so it goes that way that's fine we can just drag it here and then we can select this point and rotate it by 180 degree so it will go this way and we can just use so in offset we can use this L2 because we we use this to determine the height of the panel okay so here I'll just link L2 to this offset so now we can select these two CC and then select this one play, pick new holes and pick on this reference line again so now we have these two points then we can just select this point and type in zero and select this point type in one so now we have four points okay um, and also let me think uh, I'll, actually I'm, I'm going to hide this uh, adaptive point temporary hide this temporary hide this and the te also temporary hide the reference line Tem temporary hide the three so now we have one two three four four points so we can create a panel so let's do it so select these two create a reference line select these two create a reference line these two reference line and these two reference line so now if I select all the reference lines and create form and create a solid and 
now so you can see the positive offset and negative uh, offset so if we need a a thickness of the panel so um, previously i said 30 maybe and we can go create a parameter so i'll call it half thickness hth half thickness and okay and in this negative offset i'll just link that hth as well and go to family type i'm just going to create a new oh sorry wrong one create a new parameter let's call it thickness and um, okay i'll type in 30 and hth i'll just use thickness divided by 2 apply okay so this is the panel okay so now let we can load this into this here and then we can place uh, before i place i'm just going to select these two divided surface in hi isolate now it's easier for us to place the family so go back to create component and i'm going to place it so for example play i'll place it in the one two the third one the third one the third one so see one two three three point before uh yeah define this panel and now select this panel repeat okay so now if i type hr um, probably we don't need to let's control it still hide everything except these panels so this is the um i think it's 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 that's that's it for today um panels the main shape and i'll just show i'll show you if i change the so for example depth for 50 yeah good high for 50 and the width and uh, maybe 900 and you will see uh when you change the width of this family it also change the the panel number but it will roughly keep the um the, the spacing okay so that's it for today tomorrow um we're going to uh continue work on this family we are going to make it nicer like all these curves okay thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye